I want to share a powerful case study on risk-based budgeting integration that transforms how organizations handle uncertainty in their financial planning. The core problem we're solving is simple. Traditional budgeting treats every number as certain, which means companies are constantly surprised by mid-year shortfalls or discover they've made operational compromises they didn't intend to make. First, confidence calibration. Instead of accepting a department head's single point estimate, we ask, how confident are you in this forecast? We need them to express uncertainty as a range. For example, I'm 80% sure revenue will be between $1 million and $1.2 million. This isn't about being pessimistic. It's about being honest. These confidence levels become the foundation for our probability distributions in the Monte Carlo simulation. Then mitigation funding. We ask, based on the risks in your objectives for next year, have you budgeted for the necessary mitigations? This question consistently reveals a critical gap. Department heads have identified risks in their risk registers, supply chain disruptions, cybersecurity threats, equipment failures, but forgot to allocate budget to actually address them. It's far better to increase the budget now than to request emergency funding six months into the year when the risk materializes. Lastly, compromise check, and this is where the real insights emerge. We ask, given the forecasts you're making, especially cost-cutting measures, what compromises or new risks are you creating? This surfaces hidden trade-offs. Cutting maintenance budgets by $500,000 might increase machinery failure risk, potentially costing $1.2 million in lost production. Switching to cheaper raw materials might increase reagent usage or reduce product quality. Reducing staff might drive up error rates or safety incidents. This question forces explicit acknowledgement of what we're accepting when we cut costs. Once we've gathered these inputs, we move to the simulation phase. Every budget line item gets converted into a probability distribution based on the confidence levels and identified compromises. We run a Monte Carlo simulation to see the full range of possible budget outcomes. Instead of a single budget number, we get a probability distribution. We can calculate exactly what contingency is required. For example, if the base case shows $45 million profit, but the P90 outcome is $35 million, we know we need $10 million in contingency to be 90% confident we won't exceed budget. This isn't an arbitrary buffer. It's mathematically derived from specific articulated risk drivers. 